It's another watch you strap in episode. Uh, and this is the NTH Nazario Ghost. It's fourth iteration of the uh, watch gaze exclusive um, collaboration with uh, NTH. And uh, this is a uh, ghost, which is, I guess you can consider it the all black version, but it has definitely the unique um, kind of outlined or skeletonized or ghosted, whatever you want to call it, California uh, dial here. Um, and you can really see that, that NTH right there and the uh, the specs right in the bottom there, the 300 meters, 1,000 uh, feet. Uh, it's, in, it's in like a different black print. I think it's like got a bit of a gloss to it. So you'll see it at certain angles, but it disappears and it reappears and it disappears. Thus uh, further adding to the the ghost name. This is not a review, uh, in case anyone of you are new to this uh, channel or at least the, these specific episodes. They're just watch of the day with strap choice uh, paired with it just to show you guys uh, what may or may not work with certain watches. But I think tend to think most of the watches and straps that I pair um, do work to a certain degree. May not, to, may not be to everyone's taste, but that's okay. Um, we're all different, but uh, today, um, kind of in, in a black strap trend, particularly with this watch, uh, had on another, like a contrast stitching leather, two-piece leather strap, um, a, a, a black leather and canvas one, which was pretty cool, I think, it gave it a sort of a field aesthetic, that was in the last one that I presented on, on this watch, just look at a couple of episodes back. And today it's on a black leather uh, NATO style, which I think also works pretty darn well with this. And uh, yeah, uh, nothing much to it. Yes, I do wish it was a single pass and it would have one less layer underneath the, between the uh, wrist and the watch case. But overall, um, uh, it doesn't really raise this watch. I mean, this watch is pretty low anyways. I believe it's less than 12 or it could be even 10 and a half millimeters tall if memory serves but either way it's relatively slim for a dive watch uh, at 300 meters at that um, so you know whatever it raises is not that much and most of it sinks into the wrist anyway so you you don't have a huge uh, you know uh, gap or a, uh, you know elevation to the watch off of the wrist with a, even with a strap such as this all right Take it easy.